So it's going great. And I'm having so much fun. <laughs> the enemies to lovers stand is becoming a best friends to lovers stand. Wow. And I'm just like, no. <laughs> I need to keep reading, but this book. It is incredible. It is everything. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is an extremely exciting video, which is going to be an introduction to a new video series that I came up with, which is going to be reading my favorite author's favorite books. I was thinking, I want to see if my favorite authors actually l read and love the type of books that are kind of like the books that they write and if they can be as good as the author's books and allow me to find new favorite authors to read books by and just new books that I wouldn't normally read on my own. So I'm today starting with Talia Hibbert. I talk about her the most out of all authors that I read and I love her so much. She is my queen. She is my absolute favorite adult romance author. Holy shit, you all are not ready for this video. I am going to be reading six different adult romance books and obviously I'm not going to spoil any content but it's a wild ride and let's just say I may have found some new favorites. Before I get into the vlog portion of the video, I always want to say what the author that I love has like coming up soon and one of my favorite books of theirs, which is honestly impossible to choose. So, um, yes. So Talia Hibbert has um, the sequel to these two beautiful books um, coming out at the beginning of next year, which is Act Your Age, Eve Brown. So the first book in that series is Get a Life, Chloe Brown. Then we have Take a Hint, Danny Brown. The most wonderful series ever. And it's been getting so much love and it makes me so happy that people are finally finding Talia. But <laughs> I don't want to say these as my favorites, even though they are my absolute favorite books ever, um, because these are the most well known. The two books that I love by Talia so much that not many people know about are Mating the Huntress and damaged goods so again i usually want to try to pick one favorite but i literally i adore every single book that talia writes and i can't wait for the day when i can have um all of her books physically on my shelves and i would honestly do anything to get an arc of actor age eve brown which is probably not gonna happen but it's okay um <laughs> um mating the huntress is the perfect book that you should read right now it is an adult paranormal romance it is hilarious it is so much fun it is under 200 pages it just got a new cover which is absolutely stunning and the other book is damaged goods which is actually also under 200 pages i think and it is so beautiful it is one of the most beautiful heart-wrenching heartwarming absolutely incredible romances i've ever read which is honestly the case with every single book of talia's and i will be making a video on like a guide to talia hibbert's books at some point and yeah i'm gonna shut up now i hope you enjoy this video it's gonna be a wild ride I have been listening to the audiobook of The Worst Best Man by Mia Sosa and I'm having so much fun. Last week actually when I was on the airport I wanted to listen to an audiobook so I started it, didn't get that far, and today I started listening to it and I haven't been able to stop listening at all. Like I am having so much fun. The book is hilarious. I've laughed so many times and I don't know if it's just me because like I, it's easy to make me laugh but like to me the book is so funny. The banter between the couple is just so funny. Like they have just been kind of arguing but like I, in real life, I despise arguments but in the book, like, it just works because they're just teasing each other and it's kind of, like, petty and funny and I just, I'm loving it so much. I love the main characters. Lena is kind of, she's just a badass. She's a boss. Um, she is independent and she works really hard and she just goes after what she wants and she doesn't want feelings to ever get in her way. Max is kind of, I don't know how I would describe him. He doesn't want to, like, be tied down, but at the same time, like, it's not that he just wants to, you know, have random hook hookups and stuff and never be in an actual relationship. It's just kind of because of his history with relationship. He was hurt before and he doesn't want it to happen again, which I 
really like and I'm loving this book so much like I might even just like binge listen I guess to the rest of it before going to sleep so so far this is going great the tension is there and there are there have been so many moments when it was just like ah! Hello everyone, so editing Nicole here. I look completely different, you know, it's been a long time since that clip, but <laughs> I just wanted to jump in here because I didn't say anything about the synopsis at all. So, <laughs> this book is an adult contemporary romance. It's about Lena and Max, and the premise is basically that Lena is forced to work with Max, who is her ex fiance's brother. That is, I think, the quickest way to describe it. She has a very bitter feeling about Max in general, so it's kind of enemies to lovers vibes, and also like some kind of office romance vibes since they have to work on a project together, which is, yeah, it is great. So I think that's all that I'm gonna say about the plot. Um, just know that it's extremely fun and steamy and just absolutely wonderful. And yeah, so back to me seven months ago. Hello. <laughs> it's time for an update. I finished reading The Worst Best Man by Mia Sosa and holy shit, I ended up giving it five stars. It was a total delight. I had so much fun reading it. I didn't want to stop. I almost read it in one sitting. It was just incredible. I loved their relationship. I loved the dynamic between them. I adored this book. And the thing that I do want to tell you is there is a lot of conflict and it takes a long time for something to happen for their relationship to fully flourish. But when it does, it's so worth it. And the smutty scenes were so fucking incredible. So good. There, there were so many absolutely amazing scenes that were so unique and beautiful, like, visually. Like, the way that I imagined it in my head was just so beautiful. I literally wanted to look at a painting or, like, a drawing of that because it was just stunning. And so <laughs> I could ramble about this book for ages, but I have a lot of books to get through, so please read this book. The first book was a total success and I'm excited to read all the other books that Talia gave five stars to because I think it's gonna be so much fun and hell yes. Ah! <laughs> it's time to read the next book which is gonna be Talk Sweet You To Me by Courtney Milan. I am really excited about this and I'm currently like 34% into the book and I'm really enjoying it. So this book is set in England and the heroine is a young black woman who is working kind of as like a an assistant of an astronomer. So she is a mathematician and she is super smart. The main character is a columnist so she, he writes for like a newspaper and he is known as a rake. <laughs> he flirts a lot. I am having a lot of fun. So I already read books by Courtney Milan before, actually like three or four novellas. Um, I love her. And it's also cool because I have never actually read a historical romance set in England that follows a black main character. I have read books by Beverly Jenkins uh, who writes about black main characters, but that's the ones that I've read at least were set in the United States, so it's a great opportunity to fix that. I don't think I want to say anything else about like the plot or anything because it is a novella. It's like a hundred pages, so you know, I feel like it's best to go into novellas like that not really knowing anything about the plot. I just love it. I love the characters so much and I also love that like so far at least, I mean nothing's happened between them, but so far, the main character, like, she has never really been in a relationship. Sometimes I feel like main characters who, like, don't have experience and everything, they're not really the best. But in this case, I feel like it's done really well. I, like, I don't know. This, there's a high chance that this is also going to be a five star, which means that both of the books that I've read so far are going to be five stars. And... I just, oh my god, like, is this actually gonna work? And am I gonna find absolutely incredible books? <laughs> oh my god. 
So I was going to do an update once I finished the book, but I was just having so many feelings and I had to share them. So I am exactly at 50% right now and the like dynamic between the two characters is getting more intense and nothing's happened, but it's just the feeling of like you can sense that like they're gonna kiss soon and you know it's just like the tension is rising and I am loving this so much. So I think this is gonna be such an amazing experience. I am even more excited to read the rest of the books now because so far like it's been incredible and I cannot imagine that I wouldn't give this book five stars. So it's going great and I'm having so much fun. <laughs> it's so good and like oh my god like seriously Courtney Milan is one of the first people that I ever read novellas from, like romance novellas, and I'm such a big fan because, you know, if you ever, like, it's so nice to just read a light short book sometimes. Like, you know, it's it, it can get exhausting to read books that are, like, you know, over 300 pages or whatever, and um, it's so nice to read something short, but Courtney Milan manages to, like write it so well that it's completely enough and I just I'm loving it. <laughs> oh my fucking god. I I loved this book so fucking much and <laughs> need like 500 more pages cuz this was so not enough and I loved the couple so much and I cannot believe it's over. Especially the second half flew by so fast and I'm just like, no, <laughs> I need more and I loved it so much. Like, in the review that Talia has of the book on Goodreads, she said that it's the most romantic book she's read in a while and I have to agree, it's so romantic and it's so slow burn and it's so worth the wait. Uh, I am so dead and I'm speechless. I adored this. I'm gonna give it five stars. It's definitely my favorite Courtney Milan book and it's definitely one of my absolute favorite historical romance books. Like I haven't actually read that many but I love this so much and <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> like it's so good. I can't even like. The dynamic between the two characters is absolutely amazing. Hello everyone. So I'm sorry about my wet hair. I just washed it and it takes it a million years to dry. I am reading Go Deep by Rilsey Adams and I was like, you know, this book has like 150 pages. I think I'm gonna do an update when I'm like halfway through and then when I finish the book. But I was having so many feels and thoughts already and I just had to share it with you. So that's what I'm doing. This book is Friends to Lovers and that's pretty much all that I know right now because I can't recall exactly what Talia said about this book in the review. I feel like Friends to Lovers is a trope that a lot of people love but a lot of people think that it's boring and I thought that I was kind of in between and I was like yeah I'm not like I don't really vibe with Friends to Lovers that much either but then I thought about it and Friends to Lovers is absolutely amazing and delicious when there's a lot of tension and like a lot of chemistry between the two characters and when they just have a super strong connection and when there's you know pining and like you can see that like they are feeling something for the other person but neither of them wants to do anything about it and it is just when it's done well it's absolutely incredible basically okay i i need to take it from the beginning so the main character whose name i don't remember yet i'm sorry um she is a writer and she basically writes smutty books and she hasn't had a relationship or anything of that sort for a while and so she's just super burned out doesn't have any inspiration and so the book that she just published just readers are just not enjoying it and are saying that it's dull and things like that 
And so she's like, well, you know what? I need to get laid <laughs> to have some inspiration and like feel better and to be able to write better, basically. And she doesn't really know how to like do that. She doesn't want to go on Tinder or whatever. She basically makes a joke that Xander, her best friend, um, should just basically, you know, have like a friends with benefits situation with her, maybe, <laughs> just to help her out with finding inspiration. And I'm like, first of all, tell me that a book is about a writer and like, I'm gonna read it so quickly that like, just, like, it's one of my absolute favorite things. And so she immediately talks about that on the first page and I was immediately like, okay, I am here for this. And, like, the whole being burnt out and lacking inspiration, all of that, like, I can relate. Like, I love it. And the two of them have. It's clear that they have a connection. Like, literally, Xander, I really hope that's his name, like, runs to her immediately when she asks him for, like, emotional support. And, like, so they are there for each other and they love each other or like you know as friends but obviously it's gonna grow into more and like I need to stop rambling right now but <laughs> I am absolutely loving it already and I honestly like there's a chance that I'll just fly through it and I'll update you once I finish it also one last thing before we go back to reading it is giving me really strong guarding temptation vibes which is by Talia Hibbert it's another pretty short book and it's also friends to lovers and it's also one where they have you know a super strong connection but they haven't done anything about it and they <laughs> it's so good so i don't know i'm like it's giving me those vibes and i'm completely here for it because i absolutely adore guarding temptation so this <laughs> this book is absolutely hilarious the, I, <laughs> I figured it out friends to lovers is absolutely incredible one is best friends to lovers who have known each other for, you know, a long time or just when they have a super strong bond as friends. <sighs> it's so good. I <laughs> am losing my shit. And, like, I am just loving their energy, like, both of the characters on their own. And them together is just so good. Like... I am having I am having the best time right now. I need to keep reading, but this book. <sighs> so I don't have any new updates, but I just wanted to put it out there that drinking iced chocolate and eating chocolate while reading romance books can make anything better. I'm living my best life right now. So, it's time for an update. I finished reading Go Deep by Rilsey Adams. I loved this book so much. The only small complaint that I have is I didn't love the conflict in it, you know, like the conflict that kind of usually comes in romance before the happily ever after happens. Um, cause there was like a little bit of like miscommunication. At the same time, since it's a novella, the whole conflict situation didn't last long, so it got resolved really quickly and I just, I loved it so much. It's definitely very steamy, super fun, like you could see like I was rooting for the couple so hard. I was completely vibing with their chemistry and just it was such a fun time like it gave me all the giddy feelings that I want from a romance and I absolutely loved it and it was also super quick to get through it's 131 pages it was a freaking success like I cannot imagine that I there would be a single book in this video that I wouldn't love. And like, Rilsey Adams is definitely an author that I will be reading more books by. She has a shit ton of books out already, so definitely pick up this book and check out, you know, more of Rilsey Adams' books. Also, just a quick side note, a friend of mine just told me that she read Get a Life Chloe Brown. And she loved it, and I'm like losing my shit and fangirling just because she read it, because this is like, it's not the first time, but it doesn't happen often that like a friend of mine reads a book because I talk about it so much that they read it, and like, I, it makes me so happy, and like, 
This makes me so happy to see that Get A Life Chloe Brown and Get A Life Danny Brown is getting the love that it deserves. <sighs> I'm just so proud. <laughs> I'm so happy. Hello everyone. So the sun is setting. I feel like the lighting looks nice. Hopefully um, it does. <laughs> I am wearing this hoodie because it's been really cold today and you know I just want to be cozy and warm so I have some updates. I started the next book, which is going to be Along for the Ride by Mimi Grace. And oh my god, I actually started this book a while ago, but then other books got in the way. And then, you know, yesterday I couldn't stop reading it. Like, I didn't really feel like vlogging because I was just tired and, you know, and I was literally scared that I would finish the book yesterday before even managing to update you but it was pretty late so I ended up going to sleep so now you know it's time to update you. I am halfway through the book and I'm loving it so much. It is basically a road trip romance where the two main characters they know each other through basically Jolene the female character um through her sister and her sister's fiance so they move in the like same circles but like they had interactions in the past but they don't really like each other so it's kind of like rivals to lovers where at the beginning they're they basically at the beginning they want to help the sister and her actually now husband not fiance they say that they're gonna help them and they take a truck to transport some like furniture and whatever for them and so the two of them go for a road trip and I actually love road trip romances or just road trips in books in general but I feel like I've barely read any so if anyone has any recommendations please tell me in the comments down below because I definitely need to read more of them and I am loving this there's the only one bed trope good shit <laughs> the reflection is really weird i'm sorry about that i am absolutely obsessed with this book and it's just so fun and lighthearted and wonderful and like i live for that shit you know <laughs> so wow this like i mean this lighting is kind of cool but i'm like rude also i love the fact that jolene is a businesswoman and she's very hard working and she's a lot focused on her work and everything and it's actually kind of giving me the worst best man vibes a little bit the heroine and the worst best man is also a strong badass businesswoman so i'm living for this because those things are like something that i absolutely adore and it's so funny because like this video is actually proving to be exactly exactly what i wanted it to be because I am finding new favorites. I am having a freaking blast. I will definitely be reading more books by these authors and like I am loving this. Like <laughs> this is probably so far the most successful video that I've made where I kind of like want to achieve something. This is proving to be everything that I wanted. Needless to say, I will be reading every single book that Talia recommends. I'm gonna go read and I'll update you when I finish the book probably. So it's time for an update. I finished reading Along for the Ride by Mimi Grace and I loved it. <laughs> no surprise there. I just loved the characters so much and the chemistry between them was amazing. So basically the first half of the book is the road trip and the second half of the book is when they have to kind of go back to their normal life and I actually really liked that a lot and like I said I personally love road trip romances and just road trips in general but I feel like even if you're someone who maybe doesn't isn't sure about the whole road trip thing I would still say uh give this book a shot because it was just absolutely incredible and I flew through it. Lately, I've been having a lot of issues with just like focusing on one book 
And so, because I just have so many incredible books to read, you know, which is an amazing problem to have, but it means that I don't always, like, know which book to pick and which book to stick to, and, you know, a book is good when I fly through it and don't want to read anything else. And that has actually been the case with all of the books for this video, and honestly, I just want to only read books that Talia recommends from now on. I ended up giving it five stars. For a moment, I thought it might be a 4.5 because I felt like near the end, like around the 80% mark, there was so much angst and there was a lot of time where the two main characters were apart and, you know, I wanted them to be together, obviously. I was super frustrated. But I don't know, I just like the ending, the epilogue and everything and the, how much I loved the characters, I was just like, fuck this, it's a five star, even though, you know, it wasn't perfect. And also in the second half, you can kind of see a lot of Jason's and Jolene's lives, like on their own, which I really enjoyed. Talia actually commented on this in her review and I really liked that because I feel like in romance it's always great to see the two individual people figure out their issues or, you know, just like deal with their own shit or just, you know, live their life like separately from the other person and then they come together and you can kind of see how their lives connect and everything and I just love when books do that. But yeah, I felt like maybe I wanted them to be together a little bit more because they didn't spend that much time together in the second half, but like we got some great content anyways. So I think that's mostly all that I wanted to say, but <laughs> I want to read another book for this video, which is why I already started one, and that is Queen Move by Kennedy Ryan. I've been wanting to read a book by Kennedy Ryan for so long, and it's happening, and I am already, like, shook to my core. <laughs> I looked at Talia's review a little bit, and what I mainly remember is that it's best friends to lovers excellence. I expected to go in the book and just have a great time, be like, oh my gosh, this is fun. And I have read the first 13%. And I'm already so invested. I don't even know how to describe it. I'm just feeling so many emotions for these characters already because basically the way the book starts is really unique. First, there's a prologue that is like two years ago from what is going to be the present day in the book. And then it goes further into the past and basically it introduces the parents of the two main characters because the two main characters were actually born on the same day and their parents like became friends and they lived like across the street from each other and so they became friends you know when they were babies and then they kind of had their childhood together and I'm not sure I don't think we don't really know what's gonna happen exactly to tear them apart but each of the chapters at the beginning is like you know them at 10 years old and 12 years old and yeah, and then, you know, we're probably gonna go through a few more of these until we get to present day, and I think that's super cool. Like, for a moment, I had the feeling of, like, you know, I want it to be present day already because, like, you just want it to, you know, get to it. <laughs> but I just felt like the chapters that we get in the past are so impactful and meaningful and really important for the story, and I am just so invested. And I'm having the feeling of, like, this is gonna be a new favorite. Like, I am absolutely loving it and feeling so connected to the story and to the main characters that, like, I just want to read this book and don't want to do anything else for the rest of the day. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna do any updates. I just want to absorb the story and, like, feel all the feels. I think it's gonna be really intense because so far, like, it has made my heart ache and, like, it's definitely not gonna be just, you know, pure fluff, which I love both cases and so I am here for this. Hello everyone, so it's time for an update. I have completely new hair now and I need to talk to you about Queen Move. So I've basically filmed this update twice. The first time it was a mess and I forgot like half of the things that I wanted to tell you and the second time I lost the footage because my laptop died. So thank god I have all of the other footage for this video but that one just got lost, so I need to talk to you about it now. I adored this book completely. 
and it's definitely my favorite out of the video and I just it took over my entire heart and I loved it so much hopefully I'm gonna be able to express myself decently well so I adored this book in case that wasn't clear it was a five star in case that was also not clear it was the god tier kind of book the god tier kind of romance that like I said completely took over my heart and I will never like not think about it and I absolutely desperately need to get myself a copy so that I can reread it over and over and over again and this book will stay with me forever and I loved it so much and the like one of the points of this video is not only to find new favorite books but also favorite authors and Kennedy Ryan let's just say I'm most certainly gonna fly through her entire backlist but at the same time I'm actually gonna definitely read books by all the other authors that I read books from in this video. Mimi Grace actually just came out with a new book which is Make a Scene which I immediately bought and will read super soon and I think I'm gonna love it so this is the most successful video that I've made so far. So I have a notebook here and I made some notes of what I can tell you about Queen Move so let's just do this. It is about Kimba and Ezra and it's childhood best friends to lovers and and they grew up together and they had an extremely strong connection. It was the kind of friendship where you know when they were younger they were always around each other and they always understood each other better than anyone else and I don't know if I've ever read a book where I felt like the two characters were so meant to be together. It's just like it felt like they were soulmates. It felt like the world would fall apart if they didn't get together. And that is what you want <laughs> in a romance. Like, the thing that I think matters most, most certainly to me and a lot of other people, is just the two main characters, how amazing they are on their own, and how incredible they are together, and if they are actually meant to be together. If the readers can feel that, like, those two people, or, you know, if it's a polyamorous romance, then the, the people... <laughs> In the relationship that they are meant to be together and they are right for each other and I felt that so completely entirely and I could not stop reading until everything was okay like I could not look away and my heart shattered into pieces and then they all came back together and it was just the most incredible experience and I'm still shook and emotional thinking about it the stakes in this book were insanely high. It was filled with so much emotion, so much love, and just so much everything. Like, <laughs> if you're someone who kind of stays away from angsty romances, I completely understand, okay? Like, I'm the same in a way. I want to often, you know, just read books that are light and fun. But, you know, this is romance we're talking about. Like, one of the literal meanings of romance is that there's a happy ending, you know? And so, just hold on to that as you read, you know? And everything's gonna be alright. So, please read this. You have to read it. You're fucking missing out if you don't. It's Best Friends to Lovers Excellence. This is why Best Friends to Lovers deserves rights. <laughs> Who am I? You know, the... Enemies to Lovers Stan is becoming a Best Friends to Lovers Stan. Wow. But I have a lot of also like details that I want to get into a little bit, so let's just talk about that as well. So another thing that I forgot to say is that this is a single father romance, and uh, I felt like that was done also in the best way imaginable. I loved it so much. Ezra is the sweetest, most caring, beautiful guy who is just such... A good person and he uh, does so much for his community and he's just absolutely incredible and just he's <laughs> he's just so loving and gentle and passionate and incredible and then Kimba she in in Talia's review she called her a political powerhouse heroine and I feel like that is the best way to describe it obviously Talia knows best how to describe things in the best way so Kimba is basically I don't know the right word to call her job but she is very much into in like politics and she helped 
the last president get elected. We follow a lot of their individual journeys as they just do their own things and their own careers and everything. And I loved that so much because like we get so much of themselves individually and how amazing they are and then we get so much content with them together and how well they work together as well. And it was just incredible. Like we could see so much of their families and friends and I also loved how Kimba was like so focused on her career completely unapologetically and this whole book is a masterpiece. Like that's that's the best way to describe it. It's a fucking masterpiece. It is incredible. It is everything. It is worth every drop of pain and worry ever and it is just one of the most epic love stories that I've ever read in my life. It's most absolutely joining my all-time favorites list. How fucking incredible. I did not expect this to happen in this video to be honest. I knew that I would love all of these books but I didn't expect to find another just like new all-time favorite. This update has been extremely long but I really hope that at this point you added Queen Move to your TBR or preferably ordered it already <laughs> and I actually know that this video has been extremely long but I want to add another book and I don't know what it's going to be yet so I'm going to update you obviously when I figure that out but I just don't want this video to be over yet because this has been the best journey ever and I've adored every single one of these books and so I can't wait to see what the next one is going to be but what I do know for sure is that every single time that Talia is ever going to recommend something I'm going to jump on it immediately. Hi everyone, so it's time to read the last book, and that's going to be Guarding Her Heart by Adore Ian. I really hope I'm saying the name right, and I'm already at 24%, and I have been flying through this book, and there are already so many things I love about it. So this book is a new adult romance, and it's about Elle and Connor. And basically they have been friends for a while, they work together at this club, and Elle ends up moving in with Connor. I was so excited, because in case you didn't know, forced proximity is one of my absolute favorite tropes. Like, it's a god tier level of trope, and if you tell me a book has it, like, I'm gonna read it so quickly. And also Connor does a lot of, like, bodyguard type things like he's not an actual bodyguard of Elle but sh she basically has a very dark past and she has this contract that like says that she's gonna marry this guy who is a really terrible person so there are people who are after her which you know obviously puts her in danger and that's where Connor comes in. I gotta say I typically really don't like the like suspense, dark people after you. It makes me really anxious and it's not fun to read about. But I know that Talia in the review said that like it was okay to handle because there's like chaos around them. But what they have between each other is beautiful and lovely and everything. I remember also that like the book is angsty, but both of the t two main characters get the love and care and therapy and everything that they deserve. That is kind of keeping me afloat <laughs> and allowing me to, you know, really enjoy the book and not feel super stressed out or anything like that. So, so far, I mean, there's not a lot that's happened and I'm pretty sure that, like, shit's gonna go down and a lot more um, dangerous stuff is gonna happen. But I'm loving the two main characters so much and there's a lot that's happened so far that is just very open about like sexual things and like talking about some really important stuff and I love it. Like I personally don't mind the fact that you know in romance a lot of things are often romanticized, things, some things aren't addressed. Or whatever like I get it you know sometimes you don't want to actually read about fully realistic <laughs> things related to that so I don't really mind that at all but at the same time I really appreciate when books are really like realistic and talk a lot about some really important things that a lot of people might not know or also like 
a lot of people might feel alone in them and then you know the book is like you're not alone this is okay you know it's fine so I appreciated that so much I think this also has a lot of like smut potential so far there's a lot of sexual tension and <laughs> it's just really fucking great like I I'm loving this. <laughs> I was kind of nervous after Queen Move. I was like, oh my gosh, what if the last book I read for this is not going to be as good as all the other ones? And then, you know, I don't want to end this on like a different note from what it has been. But now I'm like, I'm not worried at all because this is incredible. And I feel like no one has talked about this book. Even on Goodreads, I think I don't see anyone who has it added or anything. So I definitely think this is a book you all should check out because obviously I haven't read that far, but it definitely feels like it deserves more love. So I think I'm going to shut up and it's pretty late, so I'm not going to finish the book tonight. But I will definitely read a little bit more when I go to bed and I'm probably going to finish it tomorrow because like... I am invested, I am interested, <laughs> it's amazing. Hi everyone, so it's time for me to update you on the last book that I read for this video. I finished reading Guarding Her Heart and it was amazing. It was absolutely incredible and I loved it so much. I don't want this video to be over because it's the best thing that I've worked on so far and I will definitely be making this kind of video more often and there's something that happens at the beginning of the book that I loved so much that like Elle needs to get a surgery and I loved that whole topic of that I think what I mentioned earlier I just I love when authors write about some kind of like more realistic important things because especially when it comes to like sex related things it's often something that people still don't really talk about fully openly and I don't think that, you know, every romance book has to talk about anything like that. But at the same time, it's lovely when authors also do the opposite and actually address some issues that might feel a little bit awkward to some, but it's actually just, you know, chill and like, it's important to talk about. And so I loved that so much. I just, it talked so openly about so many things and I loved it. And also because of the surgery, there's this whole kind of trope of like you know Connor takes care of Elle a, a little bit so it's that whole taking care of the other person in romance trope which I feel like who doesn't love that you know it's amazing it's so sweet I don't know if I said earlier that Elle was engaged to this disgusting toxic abusive guy so it does deal with that a lot so you know please make sure to check the trigger warnings go into this book carefully because it gets really intense it was there were a lot of things that were hard to read about which is like i said kind of why it took me a little bit longer to read but at the same time like this is something that talia mentions in her review um it's like the world around the two main characters is just chaotic and horrible and difficult but what they have within the relationship is so beautiful and loving and caring and I completely agree with that. It was just so lovely and they had so much chemistry on every level and so, so much like just sexual tension and such a strong connection. It was just the most beautiful cocktail of emotions. I just loved how like it was really steamy. But at the same time, had just a really caring and beautiful relationship where they actually talked about their issues and slowly managed to open up to each other and actually help each other deal with their issues and trauma and everything. And that was just so beautiful to see that, you know, it has been through so much. And they finally, like, slowly throughout the book, they heal along the way and they get the help that they need within each other and, you know, therapy and everything. And it's just absolutely incredible. I loved it so much. It definitely, again, had very high stakes because of the whole engagement dangerous person thing. Um, because the ex-fiance and, like, people around that are after Elle. Like I told you, I really don't like book books like that because they make me anxious, like I said. And in this book, again, it definitely, like, did make me feel a little bit uncomfortable in that sense. Which is why I kind of, you know, made sure to take my time with it and not, like, read it when I felt like I shouldn't be reading it. But I felt like it was just done so well and the romance and everything was completely worth it. And I'm glad that I'll actually at least 
have like a more suspenseful dangerous romance recommendation for people in the future because again like I don't read that kind of thing so at least I can recommend this. Also what I do want to say to let you know before you go into this book is that both of the main characters they have kind of this whole like they're both into consensual non-consent is that how you say it? And so, again, I feel like that was done really, really well. But at the same time, like, I totally understand if that is something that you don't want to read about, which is why I wanted to warn you. So everything is consensual, but, like, you know, yes. <laughs> so we have another five star. We have made it to the end. <laughs> and I literally gave a five star to every single one of these books. And I hope no one's going to come for me uh, being like, you know, um, are you really sure that, you, you know, like, yes, I am definitely sure. All of these books were actually incredible. And I am shook by how good this was. And I don't think that every single one of these videos uh, of reading my favorite author's favorite books will go like this because I feel like what I did, like, what it, what was smart in this video was to read the exact same genre that the author writes, and I actually want to experiment with this a little bit more in the future and actually try out different genres by my favorite authors as well, and so stay tuned for that. I think that's going to be super interesting, but, like, I genuinely adore these books. I will read every single book that Talia recommends from now on, and I can't wait. And so I guess I'm gonna wrap up the video here. I don't know if I should do like a summary or something because this has been super, super long. But thank you so, so much for watching this. It's been a lot of hard work. So I would appreciate any, you know, uh, like or comment or share or any of that stuff because I have been loving working on this so much. And it's definitely my favorite video I've done so far. And so your support always means the world to me and if you made it this far into the video thank you so much and I'm not sure which emoji you should leave down below I want like a loving love emoji and I don't know if I sh if it should be like a couple emoji I wish you could answer me right now but um you know what leave a couple emoji like either like the holding hands or kissing and you know whichever couple you want leave that in the comments down below and thank you so so much for watching and definitely check out every single one of, the, one of these books check out talia the queen of romance and yeah i feel like there should be more that i should say right now but i feel like all the books speak for themselves and i just this was the best experience i am so happy that this worked out so well thank you so much on getting on this journey with me and i would ask you what author i should do next it needs to be my favorite authors so I think, you know what, I'm going to leave in the description box, I'm going to leave some authors that I'm actually considering who are my favorite authors. And if you're interested, you can look at that and tell me in the comments down below which author I should do next. And yeah, um, tell me in the comments down below if, you know, you're going to read any of these books or if you have read any of these books, what do you think about them? And yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. Again, check out everyone. Links are going to be in the description box. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. And yeah, have a great day and I'm going to see you soon in another video. Bye!